This is Jonathan Saffron Four. I'd like to talk to you about kashrut and the meat industry. Like most people, I grew up thinking that meat eating was not only normal, but healthy as well. My family grilled hamburgers in the backyard, had turkey on Thanksgiving, and ate hot dogs at ball games. And having been raised in a Jewish household, I believed that kosher meat was distinguished for its humane treatment of animals. The appalling truth is that over the past few decades, the kosher industry has become fully complicit in the worst abuses of factory farming. Virtually all of the animals who become kosher meat are raised in the same cruel conditions as all other farmed animals. But beyond these general problems with all factory farm meat lies the egregious abuse of animals that was documented at the largest glott kosher slaughterhouse in the world, agri-processors, and was then defended by kosher authorities. At agri-processors, an additional, unnecessary procedure was performed on the animals. An assistant to the shochet would rip out the trachea and esophagus of the animal while the animal was still fully conscious. Dr. Temple Grandin, an animal slaughter expert from Colorado State University, was among the first to comment on these abuses. She's widely recognized as the foremost scientific expert in the meat industry. Her response to the video was blunt. She called it, quote, the most disgusting thing I'd ever seen. I couldn't believe it. Agriprocessors is doing everything wrong they can do wrong. These animals had their throats ripped out while they were still fully conscious. Here we see scenes of the suffering cows making repeated attempts to stand up while their organs dangle from their necks. Here we see a cow actually walk away into the corner and struggle for more than three minutes before being hoisted while still fully conscious. Former kosher inspector for the USDA, Dr. Lester Freelander, called these images the most egregious violations of the USDA Humane Methods of Slaughter Act I've ever witnessed. And Rabbi Barry L. Schwartz of the Central Conference of American Rabbis Task Force on Kashrut put it very succinctly, saying, if this is kosher, then we have a big problem. Not at all surprisingly, veterinary and animal welfare experts unanimously condemned agriprocessors. Very surprisingly though, both the plants and kosher certification agencies actually defended these cruel practices. The Orthodox Union has said all along, agriprocessors treats its animals humanely and meets our standards for kosher slaughter. Is this what you have in mind? when you buy kosher meat. Nor are these problems unique to the kosher industry in America. Recent undercover investigations abroad have shown similar abuses. As I said before, for most Americans it's impossible to find meat that isn't raised and slaughtered in similarly inhumane ways. Certainly what's served in most restaurants and sold in virtually all grocery stores is factory farm. So what can we do? As I was exposed to information and arguments about animal suffering and human responsibility, I became a vegetarian. For a free booklet entitled A Case for Jewish Vegetarianism, please visit GoVeg.com or call 1-888-VEG-FOOD. Thank you for your time. The choice is ours to make. Let's choose compassion.